Yep, he thought he could sneak out. So, what now, Ho Chi Minh? <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. Playtime is over. Your friends are no longer allowed in the house. Wait, what? No, no, we'll talk about it in the morning. Fine. We'll talk about it in the morning. We'll talk about how your friends are no longer allowed in the house. <laughs> no, no. This is for his own good. Look, in order for Eric to be a happy, well-adjusted adult, he has to be miserable now. That's just good parenting. If I was to be Mr. Nice Guy now, do you know what would happen to Eric in a few years? Do you? Oh, Eric! Breakfast! Oh, there's my sweet little baby boy. Why, oh, why didn't I discipline you? Shut up and eat your cornflakes. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> Never surrender, Kitty. Never retreat. We're winning. Now, remember when I spent the night at Jeanette's house a couple weeks ago? Yes, I do. Okay, well, um, I didn't really spend the night at Jeanette's. I spent it at Tommy Watkins. You what? <laughs> Why didn't Mr. and Mrs. Watkins call us and tell us about it? They were on vacation. They were? <laughs> you, you spent the night at Tommy Watkins' house and, and his parents were, were, were not there? Yeah. But we didn't do anything. Mom, are you angry? Oh, no, I'm not angry. I'm mad. You need someone to talk to you. I was kidding. I was kidding. I spent the night at Jeanette's. You could call her mom and ask her. <laughs> I think that what we have to understand is that um, we're, we're, we're going to get angry. But what we're hoping for is, is that you all would still come to us if you have any problems as opposed to going to other people. I mean, we love you. And I don't think that anybody can care for you with the love that we have. No one cares more than your mother and me. Okay? Okay. Well, I am certainly glad we had this little talk. Yeah. Too. And now I'm going upstairs. I'm going to call Jeanette's mother. I was kidding. <laughs> come today? Mm -mm. Where'd all this come from? The library. The library? You've never set foot in a library. You're only four years old. Six and a half. You're four. Six and a half. If you were six and a half, you'd be in school already. I want to be in school. I told you I was supposed to start school in September. You wouldn't listen. Get up. Get up. Get out here. Give me that book. Here's Pi. How old is Matilda? Four. I'm six and a half, Mommy. Five, then. I was six in August. You're a liar. I want to go to school. <laughs> school? It's out of the question. Who would be here to sign for the packages? We can't leave valuable packages sitting out on the doorstep. Now, go watch TV like a good kid. You know, sometimes I think there's something wrong with that girl. Hmm. Tell me about it. Mm. Merida, a princess does not place her weapons on the table. Mom, it's just my bow. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I please, can I? Can I? <laughs> Draw all the way back now to your cheek, that's right. <laughs>
I've got every girl on the bleeding staff hunting for you. All right, where is it? Why haven't they found it? Faruka, sweetheart, I'm not a magician. Give me time. I want it now. What's the matter with those twerps down there? For five days now, the entire flipping factory's been on the job. Make them work nights. Come along, come along, you girls. Put a jerk in it, or you'll be on your ears, every one of you. You promised I'd have it the very first day. You're going to be very unpopular around here, Henry, if you don't deliver soon. It breaks my heart, Henrietta. I hate to see you unhappy. I won't talk to you ever again. You're a rotten, mean father. You'll never give me anything I want. And I won't go to school till I have it. Baruka, sweetheart, angel. Really nice. I know, right? Make sure you check out your mom's boob job. Their heart is rocks. I'm home. Hey, Kylie. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. How are my best girlfriends? My name is George. This is Katie. Hello, sweetheart. Hi. Welcome to our home. I want you to know, if you need anything, don't be shy, okay? There are no rules in this house. I'm not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. <laughs> right, Regina? Please stop talking. Okay. I'm gonna make you girls a hump day treat. This is your room? It was my parents' room. But I made them trade me. Hey, put on 98.8. Katie, do you even know who sings this? Um, the Spice Girls? <laughs> I love her. She's like a Martian. God, my hips are huge. Oh, please, I hate my calves. These you guys can wear halters. I've got man shoulders. I used to think there was just fat and skinny. Apparently, there's a lot of things that can be wrong on your body. My hairline is so weird. My pores are huge. My nail beds suck. I have really bad breath in the morning. Ew. Hey, you guys, happy hour is from four to six. <laughs> um, is there alcohol in this? <gasps> oh, God, honey, no. What kind of mother do you think I am? <laughs> Why do you want a little bit? Because if you're going to drink, I'd rather you do it in the house. No, thank you. So, you guys, what is the 411? What has everybody oh, yeah. been up to? What is the hot gossip? Tell me everything. What are you guys listening to? What's the cool jams? Mom, <laughs> could you go fix your hair? Okay. You girls keep me young. Oh, I love you so much. <gasps> oh my god, I remember this. Oh, I haven't looked at that in forever. Here, check it out, Katie. It's our burn book. So we cut out girls' pictures from the yearbook, and then we wrote comments. Trang Pack is a grotsky little biatch. Still true. Don Schweitzer is a fat virgin. Still half true. <laughs> Amber D'Alessio, she made out with a hot dog. Janice Ian Dyke. Who is that? I think that's that kid Damien. Yeah, he's almost too gay to function. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Put that in there. <laughs> oh no. Maybe that was only okay when Janice said it. <laughs> 